Well, in this lesson, we're going to do some bunch of cool stuff to make some tires that rotate on a car. And we're going to look at parenting, and we're going to also look at um, using an expression called loop out and time remapping so that we can loop a precomposition. So we'll also look at precompositions as well. So this is going to actually cover quite a bit. So here we are starting, uh, and what I've got on the stage right now are two shapes, and they are both made from the poly star tool. I just made, you know, more points and softened edges. And basically what I've created here is the tire and then the rim uh, for the tire. And in both cases, I went ahead and put the center um, registration point by selecting this tool right here, the pan behind, and put that rightly directly in the center of both of these so that when I rotate these guys, uh, they're rotating around that center point. So you can see they're rotating right around that center point. Uh, that was a little off. Let me just uh, move this a little bit. Okay. And take a look at it again with hitting the rotate and just see what that looks like. Okay. That's good enough for here for this. Um, you can certainly use guides and uh, get this exactly where you want it. I'm going to go ahead and then select this guy using my align panel, I'm going to, uh, to the composition, go ahead and center it vertically and horizontally. There we go. And I'm going to choose the same thing with the hubcap, centered and centered, and it's, it's put on top. So we have our uh, tire right here in the middle. And the composition, if we go to composition, composition settings, is set up at 100 frames. And that's okay. Uh, so that's great. So now let's go ahead and have this thing rotate uh, within 100 frames just just to get the idea of numbers keeping it kind of simple here so what we're going to do is uh, we want to rotate the tire only and we want the hub to follow that rotation exactly so what we're going to do is parent the, the hub to the tire so let's first rotate just the tire um, so we've got the tire here I'm gonna go ahead and hit the R for rotation and uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, set the stopwatch and let's set this at zero. So we'll start it at zero degrees and then at uh, 100 frames. So the ending frame, actually it would be the 99th frame. So on the 99th frame we will go ahead and set this to 360 degrees. So if we take a look at this, scrub this, we've got our tire rotating right there it's going as if it were going from left to right okay now we could also switch that around but uh, we'll go ahead and have it go from left to right uh, in this case and so that's great um, if we test the movie then you'll see that uh, sure enough got a tire moving but the hub is not moving so pause this and now what I'm going to do is simply parent this together. Uh, if you don't see the parenting area, uh, you see this, uh, you can toggle. Actually, you should always see the Pickwick. And then it says parent right there. And it is in both, actually in both modes, so you should see it. What I like to do is you can choose uh, the parent by, by uh, selecting it from this drop down. So if you choose the hub and you make the parent the tire, the hub is going to follow the tire's motion. Um, or you could use the Pickwick, which in just here I just click and point to the tire, and that just essentially did the same thing. And um, and there we go. So now when we scrub this, notice that these guys now move together as one object. So that's great. That's exactly what we were looking for, and uh, we're all set for this this area. So now if we wanted uh, this to uh, now pre, uh, you know, kind of loop, we could look to uh, make this a pre-composition and bring it into another composition. So if I select both of these, this is the tire. Now I'm going to go ahead and select both of these layers, do a uh, control click and choose pre-compose and then I'm going to go ahead and call the pre-comp um, rotating tire. There we go. Now we have a rotating tire Okay, it's a pre-comp that's right, it's, uh, oops, here's a, oh, actually, it's in the uh, tire area right here. 
Okay, so we have a pre-comp notice up. It's up here in the project. We have a car composition with nothing in, uh, with actually a car. We'll look at it in a second, but no wheels. And we have uh, rotating tires, which is a composition with both of them going together. And we have tire, which is a composition that has the pre-comp of rotating tire in there. So just to review again, this rotating tire, uh, when we made it into a pre-comp, it went ahead and put it into its own composition. Okay, so we could work here, um, which would be fine. We could work within this one, or we could actually go to the car and start to work there. So if we go to the car, turn on the eyeballs here, you can see that I got the outline uh, just for a little car here. And what we want to do is add these wheels and make this thing move, right? So uh, here are the rotating tires, and we'll start with one. So if we get the rotating tire and um, bring that down, you'll see that there it is. There's our rotating tire, and it's uh, right behind or underneath there, there. So there we go. So our tire could be right sitting here, and it's going to rotate right here, and that's going to be great. Um, now, if we go ahead and play this, let's see what we have so far. Okay, so we've got this uh, wheel that's turning nicely underneath this funky car we've got, and it stops. Okay, so let's set this um, composition settings to a lot more. Actually, let's see what we what we haven't set it. Oh yeah, yeah, we've got a thousand frames here, but on the hundredth frame, that's when um, our wheel goes away because that's all we built of that. I'm going to go ahead and extend the car the whole way. Okay, so now to get this this guy to spin better, um, I'm sorry, to continue to loop, what we want to do is we want to come down to this pre-composition, and then um, we're going to enable the timing mapping here. So we're going to go to control, and then go to, so control click, and go to time, and then enable time remapping. Okay, so now we've got this time remapping, so this should uh, allow us to actually, it's got this keyframe at the beginning, keyframe at the end. We could drag this all the way to the end, and the tire would just go rotating very slowly, so we'd remap time there. Um, but what we want to have happen is for a loop to happen, actually. So if we come over here uh, to the stopwatch, uh, there's an option here to um, see that option click, add or remove an expression. So let's look at adding an expression here to have this loop. So if I hold down the Option or Alt key and click here, then uh, we get this expression right here. And in this expression, I'm going to go ahead and put loop, and then capital O U T, capital O, and then lowercase U T. Loop out. Open parentheses. Close parentheses. Okay. So now this should give us a, uh, a continued to loop. Thing. So if we're going to come over here and extend this out, now if I uh, drag this out, sure enough, we have a looping that's going the whole way. Uh, let's take a look at what that looks like when we test it. There it's turning. And it looks pretty good. Looks like it's rotating pretty well. Now you might have to. It sometimes uh, you might have to actually bump this last frame over. You might have to actually go back a frame, set a keyframe, and then remove the last frame because the frame. Uh, now we did it up to the 99th frame, but the problem is that sometimes that last loop will actually get an empty frame. So you might have to do some tweaking there. But we we've got it here, uh, which is great. So now so we've got the tires that are moving right. And they are moving in the direction for this to move this car from left to right. I'm going to duplicate the rotating tire. So I'm going to use a Command D, uh, a Control D, that will give us a second tire, which we can just move over. Okay, and now I'm going to put the one tire there. And um, you know what the heck? I think I might make it a little bigger just to kind of give this like a doom buggy look. So kind of last minute decision. Hopefully this won't cause any major problems. Um, so we'll go ahead and go to our scale and uh, up this a little bit. Okay. 
now we got this kind of funky here. Actually, this is pretty cool. Um, I think I'm going to just scale both of them to get this to fit just right. So I scale this 117, so I'm going to go to the other guy and uh, bring down the uh, scale by hitting S. And um, if you uh, hit an Alt and then S, you'll actually set a keyframe here. But I don't want to do that. I want to have this scaled the whole time at 117. So I'm going to 117 on both of them. There we go. Now we've got uh, two tires that are rotating nicely. Um, I can go ahead and bring down a guide. If you don't see this, go to View and Rulers. So if I bring down my guide, that way I can kind of get an idea of that the both tires are on the ground. Okay, so see how this was a little bit up. I'm just going to move this tire a little bit higher. There we go. So now they're both on my grid line here. And um, what the heck, I might as well go ahead and make a make a street, we could do a side view so you could see that a little bit better so I'm just going to go ahead and make a shape and um, get this smaller and I'm going to follow that grid line and just click and drag there we go and oops and what I did is I had the rotating tire selected so I made a mask I'm going to undo this just make sure I have no layer selected and then make that one more time. So there we go. We stretch it out, and that should be on the shape layer. And we'll go ahead and choose a fill color or something kind of darker, just so we get the idea. Okay. And we'll get rid of this stroke. So notice that if I come over to the left and hit the stroke area, I hit the stroke itself, the text. That's where I can just make it no stroke. There we go. All right. And go ahead and label this layer here as uh, hitting the return key as a street. Okay, so we put the street down at the very bottom and there are four layers. A street, two rotating tires, and a car. Now, if we want the car uh, to move to the left and the right, that's great. We can do that, but, but wouldn't it be great if we can now nest these tires so that the whole thing moves from the left to the right? Let's give this a shot. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is choose our rotating tire and then parent it to the car. So I'm using my pick quick there, and then on this one, I'm just using the drop down to the car. Okay, now um, I'll start at the very beginning, uh, and when I grab the car, so watch when I grab the car now, I'm just grabbing the car layer that, oh, look at that, the whole thing goes over there, the car and the tires, everything. So I put them right where we need to. I'm going to actually take them right off of the stage. Okay, so they're right off the stage. I can see here the outline just getting ready to get on the stage. Now, if I hit the uh, shortcut uh, Alt P, that automatically put a first keyframe for the position down here, which is great. Now I'll bring it out a uh, ways um, and we'll go ahead and uh, um, put another position here. So if we want to move this guy, we're going to just move this over. I'm using the holding down the shift key and and using the right arrow, which is a way to move in ten, 10 increments. So I'm moving over the car, and we know that the wheels are attached to that. So if we go like this, I'm going to bring it all the way across the stage. So it actually just enters the fr enters the frame and then leaves the frame, it just drives on by. Okay, so we get to there, and that's it. We set up two position keyframes of the car, which is the parent of these rotating tires. Let's take a, let's save this, by the way, take a quick peek and see what we've got going now. Now we've got a car that drives over, and you can see still some glitches as far as the tires, so have to kind of look at uh, what might be causing that. It might be that one frame that we were talking about. But as you can see, we covered quite a lot of concepts here. We added a looping, and we've got a nice animation that has a nested animation in it. So have fun with that.